Hi Techy guys, I'm Nand Kiso Swami and today we'll be learning about how to read a flat file in Pega Robotic and how to write the data back into it. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up your Pega Robotic Studio and create a new project. Give a meaningful name. So I'm gonna give read data. Click on create. Once you open up a new project, you will see your solution explorer window is replaced with the project window. So this bigger one, it is replacing your solution explorer window. And in the right side, you will see all the property windows. And here you see the automation, one of the automation file is already created and the global container so this is a kind of by default functionality you will get in newer uh, pega studio wherein when you create a new project it will by default create an automation file and a gc so i'll just go ahead and open up the automation file so as you know when you run an automation it requires an event to trigger that automation so for this particular uh, video will using the project start event so in the earlier visual studio we had all projects started so that is no more in, in in this newer version so here we need to go to the toolbox and if you search for the project now you see there is nothing called as all project and we need to use the project started only and the one uh best thing about the newer version is once you mouse over on any of these capabilities it will give a little description it shows a description window where you can read it out about the, that particular capability and understand what exactly that does so if i'll just mouse over on this yeah if i'll just mouse over on that project started it says this event is raised when the project a uh, startup cycle finishes so i'll just drag and drop it here and the next thing that i want is to read the file and which file i want to read so i'll just create a kind of a demo folder and put a file there and i'll create a notepad file and um, product i'll have the name as test one and four so we'll read out all the item in this notepad file and show it to the user one. so let's go ahead and look for the read So here again, you will get get the multiple options. If you want to read all the bytes into the byte format, or if you want to read out all the lines, or instead of line, it just has a had a plain text, the bigger text only, then you can utilize the other option. So in, in this particular use case, we'll use the read option. And what once we read, we need to also supply the uh, just only the path there are two options so we're going to utilize the first one and i'll click on sub so we'll just connect it and give the path so path i'll just copy it there uh, right click copy as path paste it here remove the double quotes so once it reads the data, and if you see, it gives the output as a string array. So to read the array, again, we need a loop. So I'm assuming you understand what is the if condition or the loops. So if you don't understand that, go ahead and look out uh, or search on the Google and try to uh, look for the, some information about the if and loop conditions. So let's look for loop. So it returns a list, so we need a list loop. 
and there are different options as well you can use the do while and you can read the more detail about what is that and again you can read the more detail about e each of these options okay so let's go ahead and drag it there add this at the data point so that blue ones are the data point and these uh, uh, gray ones are uh, uh, process flow so in the earlier one it was having a different color now we'll see all the blue ones are the data flow and these are the process flow now once we have the item read it out of the file we'll show it to the user in a message box so again let's go ahead and search for a message box and we'll use the dialog result to show it to the user and it will be shown at every item yielded and item value as a message bar we can add a breakpoint here and click on run once you click on the run you can see it reaches to the breakpoint and now the best thing is once it's uh, move out of the flow it also shows these data values here so here uh, in the visual studio we had f11 so it's same f11 you can press or press this uh, tiny little tiny button on the top or f10 to step over the complete flow uh, or you can press this little tiny button again so i'm gonna use here so here you can see it, it is showing the data earlier we need to uh, mouse over on this data flow to uh, show the data to the user but now it shows the data by default now let me click on the next it passes on all the data and now you can click the first one best i'll click ok here you can see the next one and to run the complete flow i'll just stop it and remove the breakpoint and run it again and to running the complete flow you can use the shortcut key which is f5 it's same as the earlier version so, I'll click so similarly how we read uh, the data out of that flat file you can utilize another functionality which is write the data and again we have the similar functionality so i can use the first one and i'll write the content here and the same path let's go ahead and run it and now let's go ahead and check what data we'll see there. it is okay which is coming out of that message box so this is how we can read a flat file in next video we'll talk about or we'll learn about how we can read a excel file and write back into the excel file so thanks for the watching see you in next